in ARP next we have a print format so apart from the standard print format you can also create a customized print format now before going into that let's have a brief about what is print format so print format are the layouts that are generated whenever you want to print or email a transaction now we'll take our previous example that is a job offer now the print over here if I print on it and if I have a look at this so this is how the print this is how the document is printed or the doc type is printed now likewise you can create a print for print format for different different doc types according to how you want it also uh, print format is of different types now this one you see it's a standard print format if you want to add your own print format we can add it using the custom print format now to create a print format we'll go to print format list And these are the different print formats that these are all the standard ones that have been created now from here that is um, this print one and all this this I have created it for the different doc types now we'll go to this one now let's have a look at how to create a print format I'll just show you what it so you'll enter the name over here you'll enter the doc type for which you want to create a print format for and then over here we can also add a custom format so if I add a custom format then over here we can add some um, using templating we can add some code over here write some HTML and we can fetch the data from different doc type so, so likewise I have done it for this one that is student applicant so why this print format is created is like let's say the student is uh, uh, student application is approved in education section we have uh, we have student applicant over here so once the student student application or applicant is approved so what I want is I want them to receive an email about their admission letter so that I have created using print format now let me show you so you see this is the doc type that I have selected that is a print format all right I'll open it in another tab let's go to student applicant this way we'll understand it better okay so this is the student applicant doc type and this is the print format that we have created for student applicant now you see we have selected a student applicant um, doc type now over here we have a custom format now if you want a standard sta a standard format now this is the standard format I have for the assessment result also so you see this one is the standard uh, print format that is it doesn't have anything we just have the assessment result doc type and what's happening is that the whole document is getting printed now I'll show you that assessment result also how it looks let's have a look at it I'll just print oops sorry print okay so this is the standard standard print format that is I have created with this assessment result all right so if you want to add a custom format then you just have to click on custom and then you can add different fields if you want like over here these are all the fields which are present in doc type but let's say you want to add some extra field or you want you don't want some of these fields over here so you can remove it by custom format so let's go back to our student applicant example and let me go back to student applicant again from here so so this is a student applicant doc type all right and then this is the print format that i have created for it so let's have a look into it now i've used frappe.get doc let me zoom it in okay so over here you can see that we have first name we have the application status and also I have a separate video created about how to create a notification that is once the application status changes from applied to approved this uh, this is the notification this is the email that a user will receive in this particular print format I'll show it to you later but let's have a look at what uh, all this um, fields are so we have the admission year so in the student admission year let me go into this yeah you can see that we have the admission end date so let's say I want this admission end date to be present in this uh, student applicant so I have used frappe.get doc I have got this student admission doc type 
and in student admission doc type i am getting this admission end date all right and th this means this is the admission end date and you already know how to have a look at the field names so you go to customize and from customize you can have a look at this admission end date the name of that is admission underscore end underscore date so that's how you go into another doc type if you want from i mean from this is the base doc type right now and from this i am going into student admission doc type and i got the i fetched the student admission end date and what else is there i have fetched the company email company name and company logo and this is the admission end date and then so these uh, this is i mean using frappe.get doc you can fetch um, all of this doc types and from within the doc type you can fetch this particular fields that you want so i have written like dear doc dot first name now why doc dot first name because current doc type is student applicant so it will address you by doc dot sabia and then we have academic year doc 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 academic year which is the academic year this one so this is how it looks now let's have a look into the email how it looks i mean the once the print is sent how it looks i want you to have a look at it so this is how it looks and you can see this is the company letterhead that is added over here this all right i have to zoom in again sorry yeah so this is the letterhead and then we have the student admission end date this one it is and then school institute name and then phone number that is fetched from like you can see this is this is how it's fetched properly and i've also added this please verify the contact below and in the print format i have added this table this is the table that is name mobile number and then date of birth so this is how it is name mobile number and then date of birth now it's none because right now i've not added any date of birth in this doc type so that's why so this is how you create a print format now you can there's another way to create a print format that is using a print format builder print format builder now it's like a more drag and drop kind of functionality now you can edit already existing print format or, or, or else you can create a new print format so let's say I want to create a new print format for job opening and I can just name this new print format job opening one create a new print format now over here you can see that we can use drag and drop all right yes so we can use drag and drop if you don't want this you can just simply remove it and this won't be there and if you don't want this field to be added let's say publish on website i don't want this to be included in the doc in the print format that will be printed i can simply remove it so it's just a uh, using drag and drop and it's really easy one if you want to use a print format builder you can use it and if you want to add some extra customization like we have in student applicant so we can also do that so i hope you understood about everything about the print format if you have any doubt then do mention them thank you so much for watching